Okay, hello everyone. This is Roguelands. It's been a long time since I've been here, but now I'm back and I'm super excited. So, uh, this game is essentially Magicite 2, if you can believe it. And, as you see, I just started this. I just picked this game up today. This is Christmas, by the way. I just picked this game up today. And, uh, I played about an hour of it. This is one of my characters. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna quickly jump into the game with this character. For this episode, we'll see how it goes. If you guys like it, I'll start a complete new slate. I've got an idea to start a game with multiple... You can essentially create a ship with multiple characters without ever, like, uh... Your characters don't really affect the ship. Now, uh, it's going through a loading slow loading screen. And one moment. Okay. There we go. So, this is my little guy. This is Balgor. The way this game works that's really interesting is, first of all, you've got this little guy up here. This is how you collect all the resources in the game. You tell him to go to a place, he goes there, he collects them, he comes back. Uh, this is how you do all the combat in the game. You right click to go into the combat screen, and then you're brought up with this interface. You have abilities up there. It really is, like, if Magicite was Terraria, then this is Starbound. It's really nice. So what I was talking about right here, this is not the first character who's been on this ship. All of this stuff I got with other characters. So your ship is persistent. If this episode goes well, I will delete this ship, start a new one. If you guys would want me to, I guess. Uh, start a new ship with multiple different characters and uh, play with them. But as for now, let's go with this guy. So, uh, basically controls just like match site. You have dashes, you have your stamina. So I'm gonna send him to go down there and gather while I fight this guy. And so, those guys, if I touch them, they become enemies. I just found this game, like, uh, recently, looking around with Steam. I would've never noticed this, actually, if I wanted one. It sounds like the music is slightly louder than I am, so I'll just turn that down. And, wait. That's easier. Okay, sorry about that. I, this is, the, like, the first time I've really opened OBS up since I stopped. Which, apologies for all that. Uh, I basically, basically, there's no easy way to record during, or while I'm in college, as I found out. So these guys are not hostile originally, but if I step into them, they'll drop a credit and they will come out of their little shell. These guys are one of the more formidable enemies, and that's one of the uh, abilities I can use. Those constitute mana in this game, so... When, when, I grab this. when I use this ability, my magic meter goes down, and it launches that grenade. These guys can also just be attacked. Oh god. I find it hard not to accidentally get myself out of the combat mode with this. But uh, the combat in this is way more fun than I thought it was in Magicite. It is like actually really fun. I am really enjoying my time with this game. It's nice that you don't have to do any of the actual gathering, you can just get this guy, and... What makes this so nice, honestly, is even... Because it doesn't really save you time, which is... But, uh, what it does is it means that you can fight while gathering. God. Mage is annoying, so with the mage weapon, you shoot where your... The projectile is going to go where you're pointing, but, uh... The projectile has an initial, like, it goes out and then it goes back in. So, that's aggravating. You have to put it in the place where you want it to go. Because it will seep to that spot. Really, I don't know. I find it really difficult to control, but I think that's part of why it exists. Because otherwise the mage would be too strong starting off. That being said, everyone starts off with different weapons, which I thought was amazing. Uh, the other characters I've had start off with either swords, 
Maybe it's the first one you start off with a gauntlet, but I'm sure if I chose a dexterity class, he would have started off with a bow instead, or a gun. A gun. This is future. It's... It's hard not, like, thinking of the game like Magisite, because it basically is just better Magisite. But that being said, Magisite was already really good, so... I'm very happy with this so far. Jeez. So this guy, since he, he looks segmented, he is segmented, and so... Area of effect things like, uh, like a sword or like that grenade do a lot of damage to him. If I can actually bother hitting them. Uh, though I do wanna... I do have to carry on. I was going to say, I wanted to slack on fighting these guys a little bit, but I would rather have shown you instead. This guy is, like, the boss, I guess, of this area. So, he's, like, just a huge one of them. But, uh, also segmented, so it's easy to fight him with, uh, this grenade. And this grenade is another one of those things that I got in an earlier playthrough that I saved for specifically a mage class, because I'll have a lot of money. Oh god. I don't like it happens with him and it happens with rocks too. By the way, those floating rocks, they can't kill you. And uh, it happens, it, what happened with him just there, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, essentially he blocked me in and I had to take two hits where I probably should have only taken one. I don't know, that bugs me a little bit. Oh, let's do this, this guy. And I gotta be really careful as the mage fighting around this little pod here, otherwise he's gonna like wake up. Oh, like that. Just as I was trying to avoid it, that grenade is really powerful. I think I bought that. So the game works similarly to Magisite in like every way. So even between levels, there's that little in between stage where, uh, the little in between stage, like in Magisite, where you can shop and stuff. So, I'm thinking about doing maybe a single. Like, I don't know, not really a floor, but like a single expedition each episode. It depends on how long they last. I'll check it out. I might do two with this guy and just release these and then see if you guys want other episodes with like specific characters. Because that's what I would really like to do. I'd like to start a long running uh, Rogueland series because I am really into this game. Like, for the short time I've had it, it's been really fun. I feel like it's more intuitive than that, just like. like there was uh, no real tutorial, if I remember correctly, so I just sort of had to figure out how things worked, which was extremely difficult, and it made no sense, because I never played a game like with this little harvesting guy, but uh, I really like it now that I've just like learned the basic controls. Okay, so, I'll go gather what I can. Apparently the environments to this are really, really different compared to uh, how, pardon me, uh, the environments in this are really, really different compared to how they were in Match Site, and these are what the end levels look like. So, I'll go collect what I can. One more guy. Uh, what's nice about the mage is that my, uh, the weapon I have are gauntlets, and they can go through walls, which is really nice. I'll find another one. So, I just have to keep making sure to aim where I want it to end up, as opposed to where I want it to go immediately. Uh, scrap metal is stuff that you can use, uh, like I was talking about in Starbound, how uh, uh, this is similar to Starbound, the way that Terraria, like this is similar to Magisite in the same way Terraria is similar to Starbound. That comparison is she's uh, the sound effect noises on that horse are really intense. But, um, no, this, one of the comparisons that's, like, the most obvious to make is you have your own customized spaceship in this. Same thing as in, uh, okay, we've been here. Same thing as in, um, Starbound. So, it's pretty, it's a pretty apt comparison. And, uh, you know what, honestly, I think it's really cool the way that this does it. Because, unlike in Starbound, you can't just, uh, I've never been to Tesla Canyon. Um, unlike in Starbound, you can't just... You can't just pick things up and put them in your ship. With this match site, you can't do that. The mining is different, and so uh, the ship is, the, like, you know, the ship making is really different. Oh, okay, excuse me there. So, let's 
see. These are just uh, things I can purchase right now. I need more glue sh glow shrooms, so I'll grab that. I don't think I need another eyeball emblem. You make emblems. Emblems are what you need to use to craft your gear. That's what I made this helmet out of. So, you make emblems by combining tens of things, so like ten creature eyeballs will become an eyeball emblem. And uh, so forth. So like ten tasty herbs become an herb emblem. Uh, little chest. I saw there was a health pack in there. I'll grab this butterfly emblem. Uh, actually, why did I do that? I have so many of those. They look too different, but I guess it doesn't. I'll kill these guys for the experience. Now I want to save my credits. So then, here's where I can deposit everything, which is what I really like. So right now, I can go back to the beginning and essentially not go through the next level. I'm gonna go through the next level just because this video is only 10 minutes long. Uh, but right now I could just go back as opposed to going to the next level. Uh, I could save and quit, and then I could store up these health packs so that, uh, like with other characters, I could go grab health packs since you can't, you, from what I can tell, you cannot craft in this game. So, I'd go back, I'd grab some health packs, and, uh, oh, this is what the I have been to the caverns before, they're the place I always have been. Um, but, so you can go collect health packs and then essentially revive someone who is about to die. Because once you die, you're dead. Your ship isn't dead and not everything is lost, but you as a character are dead. Grab this. Good. Nice. A lot of stuff. Of course it's not. Cool, I got blaze. Blaze is one of the things I actually lost, so your combat chips cannot be shared between the people. That's what Blaze, your like, magic abilities are, their combat chips. They can't be shared, so you lose them if they're done. Your, your character dies, they're lost forever. That was originally the reason I created a mage, was because I had Blaze, and I was like, oh, okay, so I'll just store it and, you know, make a mage instead, because I had it as a warrior class. But, uh, nope, that is not how it works. Still, I'm glad they gave me, like, magical weaponry with the mage as opposed to, um, giving me a sword like I thought they would. So that's good. Honestly, it makes me want to make a whole bunch of characters to try out what the, like, the base le weaponry is for them all. Uh, that is so satisfying. Also, it looks like there are a ton of a ton of different races in this game. So far, there are two slots. This game is like in alpha right now. It's very early into the early access. Oh, that Learn new things every day. That thing pierces. So. There's no real reason to do that, I guess. If I can just hit him. Because um, it doesn't seem to deplete anything but your mana, which I... I think, yeah, it comes back just sort of slowly. It makes sense to do that on enemies that are cheap so I can actually have it come back. And hey, we're at the end of the level already. So that was real quick. So, um, I guess we'll go back to the ship and I'll show you guys some crap. Did I fight this guy? Wow. I've gotten really strong. We could probably fight. We could probably go to fight another one of the bosses. I'll just go over here. Especially with the piercing thing, the blaze ability. So, let's go summon another boss. So, the trick to fighting these guys if you're getting into rogue lands is dodging. You need either dodging or using the swiftness ability, which I haven't showed off yet. It's the ability you start with. And uh, it's really good for kiting. That's like what it's there for, and it's probably only there to help you fight these guys. The boss monster hasn't been summoned yet. Like it sort of really surprises me. I thought I would have, I would have been able to take him on. Already. I'm worried. I don't want to put myself in a bad spot while fighting him. Those rocks are so annoying. I don't like having to look out for them. But it's like, it's nice that they, they like it makes kiting difficult. Magicite with its spikes everywhere made kiting like difficult in a really weird way that I didn't like. But 
I guess this is similar, but just, I don't know, it feels nicer. It also, since it moves, it's like, I don't know, it makes the world actually feel alive. It's really cool. I, I don't get those things. They make cow and sheep noises. And they look like a Pokemon. Probably one more if I have to get some. If I take this out and, like... If I take this one out and we still have it, oh, oh there we are. There's uh, the swiftness power up that I just had to use because I was very scared of dying. So should be able to take this one out relatively quickly. Nice. Yep, leveled up for that. And, uh, we'll just finish harvesting this. And let's get out of here. We've got enough better than off. That boss fight is really terrifying if you don't have those magic abilities. So, And, uh, yeah, no. I really want to start a game at level 1 with nothing. But, uh, I also wanted to show you some somewhat into the game. So, like, you know... So this first episode is interesting, and you see sort of what you're going to look forward to. Ooh, this is weirdly... I don't know, this looks weirdly tilted to me, and I don't like it at all. Oh, I've got a lot of planet stuff. I don't need that. Shroom up, yes please. Ah, oh, blaze. I doubt we need another blaze chip. If I can't store them, I might be able to. Oh, do I not have enough left? I'll go grab it. All my friends. Because I want that claw emblem. So, the way emblems work, I guess I'll show you back at the base. But, uh, you can only combine together emblems of the same tier. So, uh, I think claw emblem is going to be tier 3. But those other ones, the shroom emblem was tier 2. Like a lot of my other ones. Okay, let's see. A claw emblem is tier 2 as well. Well, my inventory is a mess. And so we've got a gas bug. Got the dung beetle. There's alch- eh. There's alchemy in this game, but I'm not at all sure how you use it, so... Pardon me if I don't show that off, but like... That's what I got out of using alchemy. I'm definitely going to use it when, uh when playing this legitimately for the channel, but right now, for like, just showing it off, I don't know how alchemy works. And I'm probably gonna be playing a lot of this, so... Yeah, we don't need another thing of Blaze, let's keep our credits, even though we're probably gonna throw this away. And we'll go back to the ship. The nice part- okay, so when you return to the ship, you cannot go back. Now if I go back, I've gotta start from the beginning, the same way I did before. But now I can leave my character here and he's safe. So... Uh, okay. So we're going over here. Oh no, I put everything away. Not that. Oh. So first we'll grab out all the emblems that we want to use. And any loot that has ten or more, we need ten or more to actually make an emblem out of it. Grab these emblems as well. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this is another currency in the game, by the way. This is for building the actual ship. That's that currency. This is for a special, like, gambling place. I don't understand how it works, to be honest. This is a really cool sword. I guess I'll just show it off, because it's really cool. It fires out a little magical wisp. This is the, how I killed the uh, boss monster the first time. It was actually really, like, intense. But uh, I want to try using a mage, and the mages are fun. So let's go over okay. here first. This is the Emblem Forge. Use this, and it makes you turn your loot into emblems. So... Nope, okay. And now all my loot is turned into emblems. Right, yep. Okay, and now we can go over here. Now, first of all, what's amazing about this is, look, you put in three of the same tier. I actually don't have this, okay. So what it will do is it will tell you if you have it already by putting what you made in there. Uh, there we go. So let's see what this makes. Dune Rider Armor. 
That's nice. Uh, let's try something else. I also haven't tried this combination. That's funny. Could have Buckler. No, Buckler, it's a shield. For some reason, I thought Buckler was like Belt because Belt Buckle. Okay, I need to assume by this point I have made the same combination and I've just missed something. Maybe it's different for every character. Or maybe I've never forged any of the blade. The game is it really like in its alpha stages, so you know. Some things won't work perfectly. I have no idea how I haven't stumbled across something I've done before. Because I have crafted a lot, if I remember rightly. Oh here we go. There's the helmet I'm wearing currently. Uh, so that is something I've done before. Okay. Then yeah, that's three different emblems. I haven't done this combination. Flower 88. It looks like it's a different droid that I can use. That's interesting. I'll check that out. And then I'll see. I think I've done this one already. Have I? Yeah, I have. Okay. It's hard to see. It's kind of dim. Okay, so then I'll go through and do these. I want to do one of the shroom ones at least. Let's see what I got. Isaac armor. The difference. This is plus two health and plus two tech. This is plus one health and plus two magic. This makes more sense for a mage, I guess. And I guess I don't need that. So, that's how the crafting system works. It's actually really interesting. The rest of the stuff, this is used for chips, and you can put it in here. But I don't know what they do. It says my name on it, so nobody else can access the storage except for me. Oh, so I can put them in here and swap out other ones if I get more than six. That's nice. This allows me to choose where I start, which is really cool. Uh, you have portal uses to go back to places. So, except for the desolate canyon, which you god my nose which you can go to an infinite amount of times this is the alchemy station i can try it i don't understand why like what what it does so it's the same way as that i just keep getting ash and dust i don't know how to make it work i guess there are certain recipes you need but i do not have them so i don't know i'll figure it out probably and uh so this just collects randomly uh, the world fragments, and I don't know what this ship droid does, or why I would want to upgrade it, but it's really expensive, and it's there. So, I don't know. Um, that little gatherer, I want to see how what he does, but uh, that'll definitely be in whatever the next episode of this is, probably. I'll probably record two Rogueland episodes of my little Malgor character here, and uh, we'll start new characters, if you guys want to see this. Thanks for watching, and I am so happy to be back.